Alrighty. Um, just finished up the leg day at Planet Fitness. Unfortunately, all of the, uh, what's it called? The hamstring machines were out of order today. How the fuck are weights out of order? I don't understand that. But it was, it's unfortunate. So we'll just hit them tomorrow um, when we hit full day. So, yeah, it's not the end of the world. Anyway, topic for this video the story. Story time. I was uh, I was in Florida not too long ago, probably about a week or week and a half ago, and you know, we're just out of some random resort in Orlando. I was on a golf trip with my dad and my friend, and my friend's dad. Just to paint, paint the picture for you. So you know, we're me and my friend is probably like 10, 10 30 at night. We're just walking around the uh, the resort as you would do when you're sixteen alone in Florida in a resort with like eight different pools. Um, so it's like some random, it's, it's, it's a Tuesday night. So resort's pretty much dead, or at least that's what I think. We're walking around just trying to find something to do. The entire place went like cashless. And so you can't, you can't, can't use any cash. So we couldn't even buy anything in the resort. So you know, we're playing football and stuff, and then eventually it hits like 11, 11.30 at night. And we're like, you know what, dude, this night's a dud. Let's just go go to bed tomorrow, go play some golf. Just have a good time, you know, as you would do on vacation. And so as he's walking back to his room, I'm walking back to my room. My rooms are probably like two tenths of a mile apart, somewhat. I'm just walking down and I was like, all right, so I'm from, we're from New Hampshire. New Hampshire's 99% white. There's zero non-white people in New Hampshire. So I'm not, not, not trying to be racist or anything, but it's, it's completely different in Florida. So I'm just walking around and like, you know, this group of three people, this ginormous, gigantic woman of color, these two six foot four, 250 pound jacked football player, basketball player, they're ginormous. Like, I like to think that I'm relatively large, you know? I'm like two tad and I'm like, you know, I like to think I'm, I like to think that I'm uh, like, you know, jacked. I, I looked like an actual shrimp compared to these guys. Like, you know the meme of that fucking white girl with six huge black guys behind her? That was me. Those guys could have just picked me up and had their way, and I couldn't have said anything. I could have done literally nothing. So anyway, they, they come up to me. This one huge black guy comes up. He's like, uh, hey, where the hoes at? And I'm like, dude, I don't know. I'm trying to find them myself. And he's like, oh, okay, okay. How old are you? I'm like, I'm 16. He's like, damn, I didn't know you was a freak like that. And I was like, I wouldn't say that's freaky. I'm just trying to, I, I just want to, I just want to find someone. Just, you know. And then he's like, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm not teen, so I'm not, no, I'm not so creepy old guy, okay? Let me get your Snapchat. And I'm like, um, I don't have my phone on me, but sure, because if I say no, then he's just going to rape me in person and I'm cooked. So it's like, okay, at least if I give him my snap, he can go do something over the phone and I have more of a chance. Because I, I stand zero chance in person. Three, they probably... The three of them probably combined to about 900 pounds of just muscle. So he's like, uh, yeah, you play any sports? And I'm like, uh, yeah, I, I swim and I play lacrosse. And he's like, oh, okay, okay. I like boys like you. I, uh, I play football and basketball. And I'm like, I'm trying to like, I don't even know what I'm trying to do at this point. I'm just, I'm just scared. I'm like, oh, word, that's cool. And then this 300 pound black lady that uh, they're with, it's like, oh, you like black girls? You kind of cute. And once again, I don't know what the fuck to say. So I'm like, oh yeah, uh, 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 I, I don't discriminate because I don't. I just, I like black girls. I don't like fucking 300 pound heifers. But I'm not gonna say that or else I get mugged. 
I'm not saying I'd get mugged because they're black. I'm saying I'd get mugged because they're 900 pounds of fucking meat. Like, oh, okay, this guy's uh, going a little quick right this on. one. Anywho, so I'm trying to talk my way out of this so I don't get murdered. And then they're just like, uh, they keep asking for my snap and I'm like, oh yeah, my phone's dead. Um, I don't have Snapchat. Um, 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 I'm trying to think of shit on the spot. They're not buying it. They're like, oh, okay, uh, I'll just, I'll, I'll walk you back to your hotel room so you can get your, uh, your Snapchat there. And I'm like, oh, uh, 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 I'm drawing a blank here so I don't get like literally taken and raped. Um. Then they're like, oh, we're trying to go to some party later. You're trying to come? And I'm like, oh, dude, uh, I can't. And then I just run away. So, moral of the story, just run away. Because they didn't chase me, luckily. Um, anywho, that was that. Very anticlimactic ending, I'm aware. Not a very climactic story. Uh, Jason, thoughts? Um, I wish you got raped. Thank you. More, more interesting, more fun story. You want to see a raping? Yeah. <sighs>